Rotating once a day, Earth takes a year to orbit the Sun at a distance of 150 million kilometers. Earth is the largest inner planet, third from the Sun and first with the Moon. The top layer of Earth is the crust. It's thickest beneath the continents, as much as 80 kilometers, but thins to 10 under the oceans. The mantle is next, right? Yes, the mantle is a mix of partially melted and solid rock. Then comes the liquid outer core, and within, the solid inner core. A slowly rotating heart of iron and nickel. This rotation inside the molten outer core is thought to be the dynamo generating our magnetic field. In the northern hemisphere, magnetic north is really a south pole. It attracts the north pole of a magnet in a compass, but not always. Every few hundred thousand years, the poles reverse, and no one knows why. Volcanic eruptions are symptoms of Earth's hot interior. Through vents in the crust, lava releases heat lost from the core as it slowly solidifies. The crust looks like a cracked eggshell. Yes, the cracks are boundaries of great plates. And where plates interact, there are earthquakes and volcanoes. But the greatest consequence is continental drift. Riding on partially mantled strata in the upper mantle, this is how plate movement has changed the map of Earth during the past half a billion years. As plates crashed together, mountain ranges grew, like the Alps, where Italy hit Europe, and the Himalayas, where the Indian subcontinent collided with Asia. And where the plates are pulled apart, huge fissures appeared, as here in the Dead Sea Rift Valley. Earthquakes and volcanoes mean plates are either pulling or pushing. They move at between 1 and 10 centimeters a year. And the process continues, whether in the oceans or from billowing peaks.